nighttime maintenance routine on flat iron hair. This is going to be a demo of how I maintain my hair at night as well as how I am protecting my ends since I've had my new cut. So I'm going to be using Myel Organics Mint Almond Oil. I've already transferred half an ounce into this applicator bottle and it has been heated up so it's very warm oil. I'm going to proceed to just apply it to my scalp all throughout. It feels so good because it's warm and the mint in the almond oil helps to stimulate growth. So after I've applied the entire bottle, which is really not that much because it's only a half an ounce, I don't want to weigh my hair down. This almond oil is also very lightweight. I'm able to apply it through my hair and it absorbs really quickly. By the morning, all of the oil has absorbed into my hair. So I'm going to massage my scalp and because I had so much hair cut off and I'm trying to stimulate growth, I'm going to do the inversion method for four minutes. Now the inversion method only requires that I hold my head upside down for four minutes and while I'm doing that I'm going to massage my scalp. So here I'm massaging my scalp and at the same time I'm actually going to detangle my hair a little bit with my fingers only my fingers. Now that I have finished inverting for four minutes, I'm going to find my part again. And I am going to begin to set my hair for bed while also protecting my ends. What I do is I take one section here and this is you know funny because you can see now what my true length is since I've had the cut. So this is how long my hair is. She cut a lot and it was necessary as you can see. As you've probably seen rather. If you haven't seen that video please go back and check it out because you'll see I really need my hair cut and it's really a testament to the fact that we need to stop holding on to length that's really not doing any good to us. It could be causing more harm than good. So now that I've straightened out that section, I will be using this main choice split in protection serum. Put a small amount on my fingers, this much on a section, I will concentrate specifically on the end of my hair. And it doesn't cause the ends to revert. So I do this and then I'm going to take this section and I'm going to pin curl it. This way the oil and my ends will connect and I'm doing it in a different way than I normally would where you wrap your finger around your hair or your hair around your finger. I'm going to do it this way and I want it flat because this will allow it not to come out so curly and just create a bump on the ends. A small bobby pin. I'm going to pin it from the top. I'll take another bobby pin. I'll pin it from the bottom. This is my first pin curl. Very loosely done, large sections. I'll do another section and then I'll show you what it looks like at the very end. Make sure the section is detangled. Look at that, I got no hair left. Two pumps. Concentrate only on the ends. This really was helping me with preventing those single strand, not single strand knots, the incomplete split ends that I was experiencing. Again, I'm going to pin curl this section by holding it here, taut, wrapping it around. See, wrapping it around this way, let go while holding it. And wrap it flat around the section.
sometimes there's stray hair and I'll add another bobby pin just to make sure that it stays secure. So there's a hair here that's a little bit loose. I'm going to pin that. And that is the second section. I'll be back with the rest. And so I'm all done. This is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six giant pin curls. You know, this is sort of like my bang section, so I make sure that I wrap it inward because I want it to frame my face, so I wrap these inward. When I get to the back, because I want the back to sort of flow straight down, I wrap it backward and then I blend it together with my fingers. This is basically what I am doing every single night while I have my hair in its straight state. I'm wearing it out more often because, you know, I'm not gonna have my hair straight again for like at least two years. Protect it, wear it out. When I'm commuting, however, I don't wear it out. Like when I get to work or to wherever I'm going, I take it down at that time. That way it's not rubbing all over my shoulders constantly during the day. But this is it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and be blessed.